Hi there, and welcome to another Midweek Memo. This last Sunday, I really appreciated the opportunity to think about prayer and praying to God. I wonder what you're praying for. I tell you what, frankly, me personally, I know I should be praying for the far side of Europe right now, but I find myself so obsessed, so desperately needing to find out what the latest update is on what's going on, that I think I need prayer for myself too. What can we pray in this difficult situation? Well, I'd like to share with you one idea from the Psalms. It comes from Psalm 127. It says, God grants sleep to those he loves. God grants sleep to those he loves. We can pray that God would grant us sleep, that he would enable us to put our phones down, to get off the notifications, to recognize that the day has finished. We can entrust ourselves to him and we can sleep. And of course, we can pray that not just for ourselves, but for everyone else, and particularly those who on the far side of our continent are really suffering. Last week, a whole load of blankets and pillows went out from this church. And this gives us a great little visual aid. We can pray specifically, one person at a time. We can pray that that person who is fitfully trying to sleep in that basement gets their head down, rolls up in this blanket, and falls asleep. We can pray for that person who is on the run, uh, a refugee, not knowing where they're going, but running away from conflict, that they tonight would be able to sleep. We can pray for those soldiers and emergency services personnel who are anxious about the next attack, that God would grant them for tonight sleep. There's so much we don't know about what's going on. We don't even know exactly how to pray that this conflict might end. But one thing we can pray is that God would grant us and our brothers and sisters across on the other side of this continent sleep. Let's do that tonight. Three notices to share with you. First of all, this evening at 8 p.m. we have prayer at the centre in person in the church building. Come and join us from 7.45. You'll get a chance to take in some of the prayer posters from the worship and prayer night. Lovely to join together, pray for our worship and production, and also to pray for the Ukraine and various other parts of our church life together. Secondly, On Monday, we've got our next Messy Mondays. That starts at 3.15 p.m. in the afternoon for four to seven-year-olds and their siblings. Do join us for that. Loads of craft and fun and Bible teaching will be a great time. And finally, if you would like to continue to support uh, what's going on in the Ukraine, Our friends at International Needs have put together a great appeal that's going to enable us to support directly the work that's happening through the local church on the borders of Ukraine. More details on that in the link below in the description or in the link tree. Thanks so much for joining us.